Komodo's Crossing. It was a busy day in the Natajak forest. The Natajak toads were building a bridge across the little stream that runs into the Natajak pond. Little Hoot and Flea were there too. They were having great fun helping. Cool! <laughs> Look at this! This is fun! Woohoo! Hey, watch out! <laughs> Father Natajak was hammering some stout poles into the ground to support the bridge. That's right. Hold it steady. Careful with that hammer, Dad! Yes, I don't fancy being mashed out. <laughs> when Flea tried to lift the big hammer, she found it was just a bit too heavy. In the shadows nearby, the bridge builders were being watched by Batwing. Well, well, well. A bridge, eh? I think I know someone who'll be very interested in this. And she flew off to find Wily Komodo. Back at the stream, Little Hoot was thinking. It's going to be a lovely bridge, Father Natterjack. But why are we building it? After all, you toads can just swim across the stream, can't you? We can, yes, and we like getting wet, but there's plenty of folk that don't, and some as can't swim. You mean you taught a building to help everyone else? Well, that's about the size of it, Flea. Cool. Cool. Wily Komodo, meanwhile, was sitting outside his den in the sunshine. He was feeling grumpy as usual, and baby Komodo wasn't helping him feel any less grumpy. Lunch, Dad. I'm hungry, Dad. Dad, I'm starving. Yes, I'm hungry too. Then why don't you go to Rangatang Shop and get something? Rangatang Shop? It's a shop. I'll have to give him something in return for anything he gives me. And we Komodos don't work like that. Well, why don't you go and pinch something from him then? Are you mad? Have you seen the size of him? If he caught me, I'd be squished Komodo in two seconds flat. As Wily and Baby continued to argue, Batwing arrived. But it was a while before she could get Wily's attention to tell him her news. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. What do you want? Nothing. If all you two are going to do is argue, then I'm not going to tell you about the bridge. Bridge? What bridge? Uh, tell me about this. <laughs> Bridge. That evening, when the bridge had been finished, Little Hoot and Flea arrived back at Wide Eyes Tree to tell him of their day's work. And now everyone can get across to the other side. It's brilliant, Wide Eye, and we made it. Hmm. Well, not just us, of course. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it after you've had a good night's rest. My dad. Good night, Little Hoot. Good night, Flea. But as Little Hoot and Flea slept in Wide Eye's cosy nest, two stealthy figures crept through the dark forest towards the Natterjack Pond. Dad, Dad, what are we doing? Where are we going? We are going to get ourselves some food, and as to what we are doing, you're going to keep quiet. Yes, Dad. Sit up. Trap shut. Lips sealed. Quiet as a mouse. Sound silent as dark. Quiet! That wasn't very quiet, Dad, was it? The next morning, 
Little Hoot and Flea got up very early to go and look at the brand new bridge. Pooh! Just look at our bridge! It looks even better today, doesn't it? But they were in for a bit of a surprise. Someone was waiting for them in the reeds beneath the bridge. <laughs> Here come our first customers. Last one across is a mouldy potato! Yeah! <laughs> As Little Hoot and Flea began to cross the bridge... Halt! <gasps> Did you hear that? What? Who goes there? That! Yeah, I hear it. What is it? Who's that walking across my bridge? Your bridge? I thought it belonged to everyone. Not anymore. I am the fierce and wicked woodland sprite of Nagajack Forest. Huh? Oh. And no one may cross my bridge unless they pay a toll. A toll? What's a toll? It means you have to bring me food. Then you may cross. What sort of food do you woodland sprites like? Oh, the usual. Honey cakes, chocolate chip cookies, a nice cucumber sandwich. Yeah, with a grass cut off and a... Wiley quickly put his paw over Baby's mouth. He had almost given the game away. Are there two of you there? No, no, just the one fierce and wicked woodland sprite. Now, go and bring us, uh, me, food. And... Hurry! Ooh, uh. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at his tree, Wide Eye was enjoying a peaceful breakfast with Conchita. We'll just finish this excellent acorn tea of yours, Conchita. And then I suggest we go and take a look at the bridge Little Hoot and Flea have. Dad! Dad! Uh, well, it had been a peaceful breakfast until Little Hoot and Flea arrived. Poor Wide Eye had coffee spilled all over him. Dad! There's, 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 there's a sprite and a, 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 a wicker wooded fish and a sprite! I mean, I mean a, a, a land and figure wickle, a, 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 a wicked spritty fighty! A fierce and wicked woodland sprite! That too! He's at the bridge and he wants food! Or, or, or else! Yes! 99 popped up from his burrow. He wondered what on earth was going on. What's happening? I don't know, but it sounds like trouble. It sounds as if I'd better go and have a look at this, Sprite. Together with Little Hoot and Flea, Wide Eye made his way to the bridge to find out for himself just what was going on. Right, let's have a look at your Mr. Sprite. Be careful, Dad! As Wide Eye crossed the bridge, Wily Komodo, still hiding in the reeds beneath it, called out. Halt! Who goes there? It's Wide Eye. I thought you'd have known that. Most people in the Natterjack Forest know me. And who are you? I am the fierce and wicked woodland sprite of Natterjack Forest. See? We told you. And if I want to cross your bridge, I have to bring you food. Food? Yes. Lots of... Wiley had to silence Baby with his paw once again. Better get him some food, Dad. I think we'd better get him something, yes. A little surprise. You see, I don't believe that's a sprite at all. And I think I've got a plan. Can we help, Dad? I think that would be a very good idea. And we'd better get some of the others, too. And as Wide Eye, Little Hoot, and Flea left the bridge to find some of the others, Wiley rubbed his paws together gleefully. So. Very soon we'll have all the food we can eat. Little Hoot and Flea began to gather together all the things they needed for Wide Eye's plan. Little Hoot borrowed a big cooking pot from Conchita. Thanks, Conchita. See you later. While Flea asked Rangatang if he'd help. <laughs> of course, I'd be glad to help. About time he was taught a lesson. The toads collected some bark from a birch tree and some forked twigs. Little Hoot fitted Conchita's pot to 99's tail. How's that, 99? Oh, it's a perfect fit! <laughs> Soon, all the friends had disguised themselves as a big, fierce monster. Rangatang was the body, 99 was its great long arms, 
Conchita and the toadlets hid beneath some of Conchita's colorful blankets to make the tail. Little Hoot sat inside a big wicker basket, which was the monster's head. A roll of birch bark sprouted from the basket. It looked like a big beak, and Little Hoot was going to speak through it. <laughs> I can't wait to see his face when he sees this! <laughs> Right, we're just about ready, Little Hoot. Underneath the bridge, Wiley and Baby were soon going to have a rather nasty surprise. The monster the friends had made was getting close to the bridge. Dad, what's that? Oh, just my tummy getting ready for a great big dinner. No, Dad, that... Ripes! Little Hoot spoke in a voice as deep and fierce as he could manage. I smell a fierce and wicked woodland sprite. And if there's one thing I like for large, it's sprites. Oh, no. Where are you, Mr. Sprite? I'm coming to get you. No, no. I'm not a sprite. I'm only a poor Komodo. Oh, well, if there's one thing I like crunching more than a sprite, it's a Komodo! <laughs> uh, oh, please, please, please don't hurt me. <laughs> Wiley and Baby ran away from the monster as fast as their legs would carry them. It looked as if Wily Komodo was going to go hungry for a little while longer. <laughs>